Now in this question, we're asked to expand f of x using the binomial expansion and write down the first three non-zero terms for f of x, where f of x is identical to 1 over the root of 9 plus 4x squared. And this is only valid if x lies between minus 3 over 2 and 3 over 2. In other words, the mod of x is less than 3 over 2. So, how are we going to use the binomial expansion for this? Well, you should be familiar with the binomial expansion. If not, there's tutorials on my website on this. But as a brief reminder, you should be familiar with this general formula for the expansion of something of the form 1 plus a to the power n. Now, 1 plus a to the power n, you'll find it in most formula books or textbooks. It's identical to 1 plus n times a plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial times a squared and so on. So if we're to use the binomial expansion formula, we've got to get this into this particular format. And first of all, what I notice is that this is in the denominator and needs to be brought up to the numerator. So we can think of this as, well, the root part as 9 plus 4x squared to the power half. And then if we bring this up to the top, then it can be thought of as 9 plus 4x squared to the power minus a half. Now we've got a 9 at the front here, we're only allowed to have a 1 here, so again we need to modify this. And to do that what we do is we pull out a 9 in front of the bracket. So 9 times 1 would give us that 9, and 9 times 4x squared over 9 would just give us 4x squared. And all of this is to the power minus a half. Now, when you have two things multiplied together, two or more things multiplied together to a given power, then it's as if each part here is to that power. So in this case, this can be thought of as 9 to the power minus a half multiplied by 1 plus 4 ninths x squared, and that also is to the power minus a half. Now 9 to the minus a half, that's 1 over 9 to the power half, 1 over the square root of 9, which will be 1 over 3. So we've got a third there for that part. And as for 1 plus 4 ninths x squared to the power minus a half, well this is in this format now. We can see that a is going to be the 4 ninths x squared, and n, the power here, is going to be minus a half. So we can expand this now using the binomial expansion formula. So we've got one third and we can go straight in now and expand this. So we're going to get 1 plus n, the power, minus a half times a, a being 4 ninths x squared, 4 ninths x squared and go on to the next term and we've got n which is minus a half n minus one so we take one away from this that's minus one and a half or minus three over two this is divided by two factorial two factorial remember is two times one so i'm just going to write that as two times one and then we've got multiplied by a all squared. So a was the 4 ninths x squared, so we've got 4 ninths x squared, and that is now squared. And we're looking for the first three non-zero terms. Well, clearly I can see that this isn't zero, this term isn't zero, and this term isn't zero. So essentially, that's as far as we need to expand in this. But I'm still going to write plus and so on there, even so. So we'll just close that bracket off. Right, so what we've got is one third then multiplied by, and we just need to work out these three terms. Well, the first term is one, 
As for this next term, it's going to be a negative term and it's going to be minus, if you work it out, as 2 ninths x squared. Now, when you get an expansion, you could expect the next term to either be a minus or it will oscillate and become a plus. The series here will go minus, plus, minus, plus, or just keep through a minus. So be prepared for that. But what we've got here is I can see this term is positive and this term is going to be positive. So we've got a positive term there. And when you work this out, remember this will be 16 over 9 squared, so that would be 81. 16 over 81, x to the power 4, when you actually work this out. Okay, So then you've got to multiply it by plus 3 quarters, and then divide that lot by 2. Well, when you've done that, you should find that you get plus 2 27ths, x to the power 4. And the next term will be a minus term, because it's oscillating. Okay. So all we need to do now is just expand this and we've got that this is identical to a third times one which is a third. The third times the next term gives me minus two twenty-sevenths x squared and then finally a third times the plus two twenty-sevenths x to the power of four gives me plus two over eighty-one x to the power of four and I'm still going to write and so on. So I'll write minus and so on there, okay? So first three non-zero terms there in the binomial expansion of f of x, all right?